Hi everybody, welcome back to Stun News, I'm Killer Cam. Um, it, uh, it sucks to start off the year like this. We lost a uh, fellow stunt rider, his name's AJ, also known as Average Joe on uh, Instagram. Um, it's definitely something that affects all community. He's really dedicated to stunt riding and I don't think a single person can say a bad thing about the guy. Um, I remember meeting him in St. Louis. Prayers go out to the ESR family, to uh, AJ's family. Um, anything we can do to help, let us know. You know, I mean, we all know what it's like to lose a loved one. You know, it's, it's something that never gets easier, no matter how many, how frequent, or anything like that. So, you know, once again, we we send our deepest condolences to the ESR family and uh, and AJ's family. But that being said, here's a little clip, you know, put together for him. And then uh, we'll get into the interview with Brian. All right, guys, welcome back to Stunt News. Today, we're interviewing Brian636. Hello, Cam. My God, happy to have <laughs> you here. Happy to have you here. All right, man, so when did you start riding? Um, I've been riding pretty much my whole life, like as far as being on two wheels. I started off BMX racing, mm. um, and I did that up until I was like 13 or 14. And then uh, we got our first like pocket bikes and started <laughs> racing around. <laughs> yeah, racing around, making those things go fast. But then uh, probably yeah, like fourteen, fifteen, started doing wheelies, starting to like you know stand up on the seat, do all so the, no hands, yeah, stuff like crazy, whatever, yeah. stuff like that, um, burnouts, all that stuff, and kind of just started from there. And then I uh, got my first street bike when I was uh, sixteen on a learner's permit, Ninja Five Hundred. 500, huh? Yeah. He stepped it up 136 cc's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what's up. So what got you into riding, stunt riding, basically? Um, I, it's weird. It's just something my little brother did. Really? Um, yeah, because I was actually out in California, and I was racing at, like, Button Willow, Chuckwalla. I was... Yeah, I know exactly know, where that's at. Yeah. yeah. So I was racing on the tracks, and then... And when I wasn't on the tracks, I was at, you know, Palomar, Mulholland, Ortega. Yeah, I was in... Ripping. Yeah. Yeah. So... He was basically like, dude, you need to get off this stuff. Like, this is this is insane. Get out of the mountains. Stop going fast. It's not going to get you anywhere. You're just yeah. going to die. You 100%. Know? And, yeah. Um, yeah, he got me into it. So uh, I went and got my first bike, even though he didn't want me to get a 636. I got a 636. Yeah. He wanted me on an F4i. Of course, cool. we all want you on yeah. an F4i. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I went against the grain there and, and uh, went and got a 636 in Pennsylvania. That's what's up, man. Congrats. Yeah. Uh, so what's... What's been your biggest accomplishment as far as this whole bike life thing? Like, what's what's the one thing that stands out over everything that you've done so far? Um, I don't know. I th I say like as far as like a physical like trophy type of thing, I'm I'm probably most proud of my AM Stoppy School sticker. Yeah, five hundred. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. It was something we we trained for pretty hard, and that was that was cool. But um, yeah, I, I think that's probably. Biggest one. biggest one yeah just you know that's I was, a lot i would say that's pretty dope i mean especially with a lot of people not doing stoppies nowadays you yeah. know what i mean everybody's worried about the the wheelies the, the scrape challenge you know stuff like that but when it comes to stoppies that's kind of like the huh, yeah huh, huh. no oh, you know? yeah a lot of guys kind of just are like what, what yeah you exactly you're either in for it or you're not yeah you know what i mean yeah uh tell me some more about chicago bike life since <laughs> i know that's where you're from oh man um, well, I, I think we're both a little bit biased, but I think it's probably the best place to ride, you know, through the spring, right. uh, summer and fall, but, uh, winter time, it kind of takes a little bit of a pause and it makes a lot of us Chicago guys travel a lot more. Definitely. That's why, you know, we know a lot of the West coast guys the way we do. Yeah. Um, but I think it, I think it's unique in the fact that there's guys constantly out riding through the, through the summer and, and spring. Like there's, 
constantly guys out. No matter wanna, what. Yeah, when yeah. you want to be in a pack, there's there's guys out on the west south. You know, yeah. there's guys out riding. So you can hit them with a text message like, "Yo, meet up thirty minutes right here." Yeah. What What do you think is the main downfall in stunt riding? Why do you think stunt riding is pretty much you know, a lot of people are bashing it. A lot of people are talking down on it. Um, I think I think in the right right away, as far as the outsider looking in, I think there's a lot of like misunderstanding about our sport right. in the first place. Um, the outside looking in, it looks you know reckless, dangerous. Like these guys look like criminals, blah blah blah. Yeah. But um, I think anyone who is part of our community will tell you otherwise that it's probably one of the most safe and controlled things you can do on a bike because. Like I just said earlier, I was obeying the law when I was up in the mountains, but we all know that's a lot more dangerous yeah. than, than stunt riding. Yeah, no, definitely. So I think it gets a bad rep that from the outside looking in, it looks so dangerous. But Right, and all the news articles yes. and everything, you yes. know, but I, I don't see any guy was popping a wheelie and killed 14 people. No. You know what I mean? You don't see that. No. You know, usually the person that gets the most amount of damage is the rider. Yes. You know? Yeah, exactly. And I think the news and the outside looking in as well, we've experienced that in Chicago. I know you guys have experienced yeah, that out in LA, yep. that they'll pull some statistics from non-stunt riders, like, look at this guy, fall, you know, hit a hit a minivan, right. you know, full of kids going 180, right. and then they'll play our clips right next yep. with us doing a wheelie going 30, <laughs> but it looks just crazy. and. They're like, man, all these bikers are out of control. Yeah, giving all of us bad names. Yeah, yeah no, but they, they can't tell the difference between this guy just got a Jixxer 1000 and uh, a week ago. Yeah, a week ago, <laughs> slammed into a car. And these guys have been perfecting what they do for years, you know, if not half their life. No, so. definitely. Yeah, a lot of people don't understand that, you know, that we've spent blood, sweat, tears, five days a week going to the stunt lot, you know, stunt spot just to learn how to bust a circle or, you know, same thing, learning a new combo in the streets, you know, yeah. it's not just thing that we go do, you know, I mean, some of us nowadays, you know, <laughs> once a week, once a month, you know, but still, you know, we, we've, we've put in our time to be able to do what we can do. Absolutely. You know? yeah. 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 All right. So what is the biggest difference besides the obvious between your Harley and your 636? When you say the obvious, do you like mean? what, why, why do you choose one over the other? <clears throat> um, I, uh, the obvious to me is the weight that's yeah. and where not even just the weight difference but where the weight is mm. like i feel like the harley's weight is is more more low down in the bike and the 636 weight is so central in the bike right um it makes stuff like you know drifting i feel like a lot easier on the harley but stuff like circles um you know a little bit different than a 636 oh, yeah, a little less <laughs> uh you know able to bail out if you need to right, you know you right. can jump off an f4i and 636 and save it but on a harley you know it's going to take it a little bit more it yeah. carries a little bit more momentum definitely you know? so, yeah you're not trying to stop that heavy bike either. no <laughs> no yeah i'm uh i always i always look up to somebody like you know, jason pulling that just throws it around like, like nothing it's, yeah like yeah, it like is a 636 because yeah. it's or like Grom, man like seriously yes. high chair no hander scrapes crazy oh, man yeah insane shout out to jason pull <laughs> sure. guys guys that would, are beast. that would be a guy that you should get on here yeah as well, nah, him him and androx are gonna be on here for sure, <laughs> for sure. so how was sturgis here we are sturgis uh south dakota and uh we're at the bell brawl it's a Harley stunt competition for some of the best Harley stunters in the country. Oh man, um, that was like probably the most uh, like worried I've ever been at a stunt yeah. ride. Like most of the time I'm at a stunt ride and like you know most. I'm not of them. yeah I'm not yeah. I'm not worried about you know uh, my situation with law enforcement right. as much as I was at Sturgis. <laughs> Sturgis. You're not you're not going anywhere. Right. They got motorcycle cops everywhere. There's no traffic. You're just in the middle of nowhere, and um, they're right behind you. And they're, yeah, they're <laughs> everywhere. They're everywhere. I almost feel like it's an over policed. Yeah, right. no, event, you of know? course, yeah, like, no. It's they're gonna take the fun out of it because it's so over policed. Like Joey Wells got arrested for not putting two feet down at a stoplight. No way. Yeah, like, wow. or at a stop sign. You know, because you go through downtown. There's so many stop signs, and you got to put down both feet. You Wait. can't go. Yeah, they're checking tail lights, vins, headlights, everything. Like these that's, are not these are not rookie cops. Yeah, no, for sure. That's probably their event too. You know, they're yes. like, oh, Sturgis coming up, about to make some good money. Yeah. What would be your biggest tip that you would give a new rider coming into the scene, as far as bike wise, and what to expect from other riders being a new rider? 
Um, I think bike wise, first and foremost, I'd probably say a Grom now, but if I was looking back a couple of years from now, I'd probably tell him an F4i. Right. I think Groms are kind of like a new thing that just came up that give, gives guys a the confidence, a, a confidence and a new option to not really screw themselves up with as much. Right. And I understand why guys go to it. However, I kind of look at the old school guys coming up on big bikes, you know, with a little bit more, you know, I hold them a little bit higher right, because right. we really screwed ourselves up crashing you know 600 pound bikes on us compared to you know little mini bikes and then even that like you know back in the day everybody was riding 50s and 110s and stuff like that and they didn't have clutches their brakes sucked you know the the handbrake sucked you know so (laughs) yeah once the groms came out that definitely would change the game for i think everybody yeah you know because even we get on them and we're just like oh my god it's so much fun out here get over the mental block learn some new tricks get comfortable with other tricks yeah yeah i think the second part of that of of what advice i give somebody new to getting in this scene um all right guys thanks for tuning in that was brian 636 behind the helmet um so in order to enter this giveaway that we're doing with rsc what you're gonna have to do is tell me what the first bike brian ever had was and tell me how many questions i asked brian the winner is going to be chosen on the 10th so january 10th the winner will be chosen of a brand new rsc trigger edition lever any color any length we want to say thank you to rsc for giving us the opportunity to hook you guys up i run an rsc on my bike i love it they may also make great exhaust great sub cages a bunch of great stuff so make sure you check them out their link is down there below so let's let's see what you guys got you know leave a comment below our next uh video will be on trying to get a stunt spot going Uh, i know i've been slacking on that i've been so busy with holidays and everything going on um so i'm gonna get my focus on that i got a busy weekend i'm loading up right now headed to la for the new year's ride um we're gonna be doing a lot of filming and interviewing other riders out there just do me a favor give that thumbs up thumbs down whatever you guys want just leave something in the comments below and a thumbs up or a thumbs down all right man y'all stay blessed Happy New Year's once again, and stay safe out there in them streets, man. It's it's not worth it. Put it like that. So, be safe, y'all. <clears throat>